Hey YouTube, so I started building the kiln, the solar kiln yesterday, and uh, this is how far we've gotten. Now this is built from all the lumber that I was drying in my greenhouse, and it seemed to have worked pretty well because the that lumber there is only down to 12 per, or it's down to 12 percent from around 40 percent. So that was about a month and maybe a week five weeks of drying and ended up pretty decent so when you cut it it's nice it doesn't seem wet at all when you're working with it and it's about the same um, moisture content as what the wood is that was laying around here that I always had bought at, a, at the Lowe's so anyway this is a design that comes from that I think Virginia Tech if I'm not mistaken so right now I have to build the somewhere in here I need to build walls across at all of these down 2x4s just a short wall to be able to put the fans in so we've used some of the lumber that I had stacked there as well as the, some of the stuff from inside the greenhouse so it came out pretty nice the boards are beautiful I almost hated to put them up here as siding but I did. So these will shrink and then I'll put battens over this. So for right now, like I say, it looks good. It came out good. Nice and level and square. So we're good with that. And uh, we also, a couple weeks ago, I don't know if I had made the video, we made a box to put scrap wood in and also a box to put sawdust in. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the sawdust yet. Um, I'm thinking about actually trying to make some uh, starter logs uh, with that by adding a little bit of diesel fuel to it, but I'll check that out later. So anyway, on this thing there's a spot for two vents, one up there and one on that side. And like I say, today I'm going to be building the walls that hang down for the, um, the fans to sit in. Okay, so that's about as far as we got so far. It looks like it's going to be a rainy day in Pennsylvania today. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye.